inclusionism or inclusionist the new label that I've gotten someone tried to debunk me a year ago call me everything from a gnostic oh god to a universalist uh, plagiarist well I don't waste tape giving up all the list of things they labeled me with and every one of them was debunked well, this latest one of uh, inclusionism. So I'm going to make a tape. Might be wasting my time, but for the few sake of the few that listen to my videos, that would understand, they would see through this. I wouldn't have to explain it to them. They see all through. They would laugh and with me. It's funny, <laughs> but it would be funny if it weren't so sad. Okay, I'll try not to mention this guy's name. I try not to do that. Following list takes you to this guy's, his mentor. He tacked me for my mentor 50 years ago. And I dealt with that in another video. I'm not going to deal with it here. Accused me of following him. I don't follow him. I don't follow any of my mentors. I come up totally outside the framework of institutional religion. And the Lord had to empty what I once knew and discover the mind of Christ, which is in my quickened human spirit and hear from my father. That's where I'm at right now. Take or leave it, believe it, or reject it. That's up to you. Uh, so this following link takes you to this mentors and where he gets his ideas of inclusionism. He's following this other guy. Yeah, I'll put the links in the comment area here. If you have followed all my videos, you'll see that I do not teach their ideas of inclusionism, inclusionist, or follow this guy's mentors attacks and view of this matter I will take the audio of the, this attack well future video not right now and show you how both those that claim to understand this matter the various articles and stuff I wouldn't I'll search the web do it you can do a search on your own you don't need me go off search the web and type in inclusionism or inclusionist and you'll get all kind of Different, there's a secular idea of that word, but they get into the religious side of that word. So I will take the order of this attack and show you how both those that claim to understand this matter and this guy's mentor clearly do not understand either. They, they don't know where he understands it. Yet because I present the biblical text that these and this mentor of this guy attacks, that he uses the same verse and he attack me for using those verses. God, you have to stop quoting the Bible verses because somebody abused the Bible verse. Yet because I present the biblical text that these and this mentor of this guy attacks use, I get labeled an inclusionist. It's rather sad that this happens in Saturday that I know that I will never be heard out long enough to correct both of these. I can correct both of them those that are into this and have a distortion of all this and those that are trying to debunk them what the Lord has given to me and a few others does correct them it does you'll find out if you listen to all my videos like I say those who have been viewing these videos know that I'm none of that so here's some so called sites that attack inclusionists not only this guy that's trying to say I'm an inclusionist, but I'm not. I don't teach inclusion, inclusion, <laughs> as a tongue twister, it's a hard word for me to pronounce. I don't teach inclusionism in what I share, yet those above and this guy's attack have no idea. They don't have an idea. They, they wouldn't view my videos long enough to hear it, or they would isolate my quoting from text that Bible text that these inclusionists use. What I share would debunk all the both sides of this street. Yet once again they wouldn't listen long enough to hear it. Understand this, I never heard of this thing of inclusion. Inclu yeah, inclusionists. I have no books or never heard any speakers he told me or taught me what I share. I didn't get this from books or anybody. My claim is I'd emptied of this mind by the Holy Spirit's sanctifying work over a period of time, years. 
and start seeing things clearer than I've ever seen them all in my life. And all these stupid attacks. God bless it. They won't. A few people listening, they don't understand. All right. I never seen, even heard of these. This thing of inclusion. No books or speakers told me or taught me what I share. It's just a new label for those who can't get the answer from this mind of Christ. They got their ideas on that. They would probably attack me for that. That they deny and said it to be. When I say it's the scripture says it's all in all. Christ is all in all. I got, I'm not going to quote Bible text here. It's in the other videos. If you need a link, I'll show you the link. Get into the mind of Christ. That's serious. And the first begotten. That's serious. It gets into all of this. That they deny and said that when I say it is to be, it is all and in all. They deny that. See, those in inclusionism, this new cult they call it, use that text. Comes out of the book of Colossians. They deny this, saying it is inclusionist teaching. That was the biblical text. You better get it straight. Well, they got their idea what that text means, see? Like I've said before, you can set up your ducks in a row. They'll shoot them down. Then they'll shoot up, set up their ducks. You shoot their ducks down. You can get into the debate. I know, I'm outside the framework of this debate. I'm just letting you know if you really want to know the truth, not follow me. Follow the same mind I have. And Paul said, he said, let this mind that be in you, that was in Christ, be in you. So I, I've come to do that. And sure enough, he's right. They go with their fallen, carnal, self-willed, religious mind, not knowing that it is the Holy Spirit that is attempting to cleanse us all from this fallen, sacred, religious mind to a new mind found only in our quickened human spirit by the Holy Spirit. i got to keep saying that. I couldn't express it before. Now I can express it. Hear that again. That is the Holy Spirit that's attempting to cleanse us all from this fallen secular and religious mind to a new mind found only in our quickened human spirit awakened by the Holy Spirit. If they would allow this, they could see this. There'd be no argument. We'd be of the same mind. Hearing all this, what Jude had warned us about, how this end-time generation are not only going in the way of Cain, but also in the way of Korah and Balaam. Now, I've got a video that develops that. Now, I'm sure they have their view of what Jude is saying. Jude's only got one chapter. Just read the book of Jude and you'll, you'll find this text. It takes a deeper meaning beyond their religious minds of what Jude had warned us about. I had this developed deeper in, in other videos, but briefly here, know that Korah questioned the Lord speaking to Moses and Aaron, saying that God also spoke to him and others of that nation. That is what these, these above are claiming. They're getting word from God. Okay, let me go on. I think I explained that here. They would attack you and me for saying we hear to the mind of our human spirit, quickened by the Holy Spirit, we know that, yet they claim they are hearing what they are sharing by just reading the Bible with their carnal mind. We're not sufficient enough to evaluate any of this. What are you doing reading the book apart from Him? you got to allow the Holy Spirit to give you, take these Spirit-given truths out of the Bible and give you Spirit-given words to explain it. Okay. Yet they claim they are hearing what they are hearing by just reading the Bible with their carnal minds or claiming what they are giving from their ideas of the Holy Spirit and His teachings, which Scripture clearly says that His teachings, the Holy Spirit, aren't His own, but that of God the Father, speaking to the Word of God, Christ the Son of God, then having this conveyed to us through the mind of our awakened human spirit by the Holy Spirit. So who is really hearing? That's the question. That leaves us with our free will, which we believe, I'm not a Calvinist, of our carnal minds to choose, surrendering and not judging anything before the time. We each can share and leave it at that. But sadly, it doesn't end there. 
they justify their tax. I will leave them with what they got and go on. So do you want to join me? Or do you want to isolate yourself from me? One who is yet again labeled something that most have a clue of what they're saying. Calling what I share inclusionist teachings. You can see why I and a few others have come out of all these denominations and are not called to start another, another cult, another denomination, that you still get labeled because they just love labeling one another in this religious world. You come to what the true meaning of spiritual implied and are in a position to not be judged of no man. Yet they try or make up some new labels to label you. So as hard as this is to listen to, I'll put the links there. And it's hard for me to listen to these guys. I, mean, I, I, I stop them always debunking them, debunking it, debunking it. God, they, they have, they have, they, it's talking about shallow religious mind. They're supposed to be educated. So as hard as this is to listen to, listen to them and their attempts with their carnal religious minds and see through it all. I'll put the link so you can do that for yourself. They, not holding the head. Christ is the head. The Son of God is the head. They, not holding the head, will rip apart what the Holy Spirit could have shown to be knitted together in Christ with the mind of Christ. Little do many know. But what I've been sharing gives a clear view of what those called inclusionists and those thinking debunking cannot see. Not some special Gnostic teaching that I see in a few people. It's the same mind as in Christ was in you, and you can get the same information that comes from them. It is claimed by those debunking these inclusionists that inclusionism comes from those coming out of Universalists or offshoots of Herbert Armstrong Worldwide Church of God teaching. I'm not none of that. For those who have been following my videos, you remember a video in my series, the Heart and the Subconscious Mind series, of this matter of grit screens over this area of the human carnal mind, heart or subconscious mind, Bible talks about it. How things enter it be with the conscious mind and create blocks second religious blocks that blocks or distorts anything that God desires to share to us be with the mind of our wakened human spirit by the Holy Spirit these may well have been led out of these cults mentioned above they woke up one day but what the Lord had to say to them gets filtered through these grit screens with it getting mixed with what they want to believe, you know. Anything. God wants to cleanse your mind. If they would have allowed the Holy Spirit over a period of time to do his sanctifying work of cleansing this subconscious mind of stored beliefs once held, what they were told would have been led to what I have come to see through this mind of Christ in my spirit's mind to some degree clearer. And now what they are sharing is tainted. And how those seeking to debunk them have a clue of what these that are seeking to debunk got tainted from. <laughs> Their minds stand to do. Be like... It becomes like the flesh trying to cancel out the flesh. Both of the flesh. So, those thus, thus, thus those being debunked and those seeking debunk could solve their differences if they could see this. So let me end on that note of my introductory notes of a study I'm going to get into of those that are debunking inclusionism or inclusionists showing you what it is and what it is they're trying to debunk and they haven't even begun to scratch the surface. They don't even know this. Now, if, I, if this had been years ago, I probably would be on the side of those trying to debunk these inclusionists. But I'm not trying to condone what these guys are saying, nor am I judging. 
I understand what's happened. And if you want to know, well, you can venture with me, or you can go off and say, well, no, he's an inclusionist, and just label me, unfairly, without even taking the time to listen to what I've been sharing. And don't stop with the first 10 minutes of any of these videos, because if you do, you're going to say, oh, he sounds just like one of them. He uses their same words. Yeah, I'm quoting from the Bible. I've had people from Mormonism say amen to what I was saying. I had to tell them, no, don't say amen to what I'm saying. And they challenged me, and they find out, my God, he's not a Mormon. I had them trying to invite me to a, to a radio program out in Salt Lake City, Utah, where it's predominantly Mormons. I turned it down and said, no, you don't want me to come there. <laughs> they would only pit me against one of their elders of that church and try to debunk me, and I would try to debunk them, and we would have an argument, go back and forth, and I don't, I don't do that. I don't want to do that. Like God used to show up on John Ankerberg's show. He would invite some atheist and put him in one chair and then have some God, some Christian scholar debate the atheist or the Jehovah's Witness or the Mormon or a person of the New Age. And when you got done, you know what happened? Nothing. Other than a bunch of information gets put out. It's about all. But neither one wins the battle. I'm, I'm tired of those debates, and I like those that few people that join my YouTube channel, they don't want to debate either. And if you want to come here and debate, go out and find some other site that will debate with you. I won't debate with you. I'll share what I know. And you can take for uh, what it's worth, or give me a label that you want to give me unfairly.